So you think the United States will have a hyperinflationary event like Venezuela, Germany, and Zimbabwe? What if I were to tell you, unlike these countries hit with this currency crisis of the past, the US will be able to hide ours? Hey everyone, welcome to Campbell's Coins. This is only a theoretical discussion I wanted to have with all of you about a pending event. I'm not saying it will happen this way, but I could easily see it taking place. We have all heard about hyperinflation. Many feel this is where we are headed because of the United States monetary policy of unlimited QE. But there are a lot of US dollars abroad too. What would happen if these dollars came flooding back to the United States? Brent Johnson's dollar milkshake theory dives into this scenario. All US dollars from outside the US rushing back in. You think inflation is bad now? Wait until this happens. Why would this happen? A summation of his theory goes like this. All roads and trade go through the US dollar. It is the world's reserve currency. The name of the game is cash flow. Over the last decade, the world governments have injected around 30 trillion into their countries. Euro, yen, pound, yuan, dollars, all pumped into the respected countries. I should mention, Brent came up with this theory before 2020 when he foresaw a massive economic crisis. A crisis was brewing in 2019, but thankfully, the issues of 2020 put a plug in that pressure cooker and this crisis was delayed. The first implication of his theory is the US dollar will strengthen massively. Not like what we are seeing right now, almost hyperbolic strengthening. The second implication is that the, this dollar strength will lead to massive problems abroad, specifically in the international markets. Countries have already complained to the Fed this is currently an issue with the slight dollar increase we have seen recently in 2022. The third implication is this will lead to a currency crisis. Foreign banks, foreign governments send back dollars to the United States to capitalize on the higher interest rates. The Fed is raising rates in an attempt to combat inflation, but it's causing more demand for the dollar. We have seen most of Brent's theory play out in the last three years. Except the Fed can now hide this hyperinflation. I would like to take a moment to point out that G. Edward Griffin said the same thing would happen in his book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. This book was written long before Brent Johnson's milkshake theory was proposed. This book has been revised about five times since its publication in 1994, and my version is the latest edition. It's not specifically named the dollar milkshake theory in the book, but the principles are nearly the exact same. It is possible this theory was added to the book after Brent announced it, but it does appear to originate in the book. If I'm wrong about this, my apologies to Brent Johnson. Regardless of who shot John, I agree with the rushing of dollars back to the US. But something struck me the other day that I think makes these theories irrelevant. The world that we live in, it doesn't play by the same rules as even a decade ago. Many economists base their predictions and their theories on past events. Well, it happened before when X happened, therefore it will happen again. That could be true, but people are playing by new rules, rules that we haven't encountered before. This is my theory, and I call it the theory of irrelevance. What if US paper currency, the dollar, were made irrelevant overnight? We are working on the assumption that either the US will confiscate dollars, or US dollars will come flooding back into the United States, and hyperinflation will ensue. When the US government enacts a CBDC, central bank digital currency, they don't need physical dollars. Fed pay is all digital. This is the central bank digital currency, CBDC, myself and many other channels have tried to warn the populace about. It is a digital currency that will not be anonymous. They can track all the purchases you make and tax you accordingly. In extreme circumstances, they can cut you off from your funds. What will you do? when the only method of purchase is fed pay and you're cut off from your funds. I have a few videos on this subject in my channel that you should check out. 
Physical dollars can be made null and void overnight. Why would cash need to come back? A lot of economists talk about confiscation of dollars or theorize that cash will still be relevant. But I don't think so. I think the Fed, the government, the man behind the curtain would just declare physical cash useless and announce the new digital currency. Remember when President Nixon just declared the end of the gold standard? Overnight, the US dollar was depegged from gold and it was the start of the path we are currently on. We are all under these false assumptions the US government will play by some set of rules. The rule book was thrown out long ago. The new one is CBDCs. They will probably create your Fed pay account based on what is in your bank account. They can view your accounts anyway. They can add and take away whatever funds they want already. They will just adjust the new account based on your current numbers. This is exactly how they will hide hyperinflation with physical dollars. Since they will adjust your Fed pay based on your account balance, they will probably say, make sure you add any physical cash outside the system into your account by this date so that it can be counted towards the Fed pay. But that is a trap. Since they are watching deposits already, they will just tax you on whatever you're adding to your account. With a digital currency, in the end, there will not be physical cash. They can add trillions in digital dollars to the balance sheet, and you'll never see that excess cash flood the street like all previous hyperinflationary events. And since everything is based on perception, you won't even know that this is happening. Now, for some caveats, I think Brent is a really smart guy. A lot of what he said would happen has come to pass. Not everything, but enough. And I think it's really only a matter of time for the rest of what he talks about to happen. Brent is a gold bug at heart and thinks that everyone should own gold, which is why I thought it was funny that he and Peter Schiff got into it in one of Cambridge House live cast at some investing conference a few years ago. Both agree on the destination, gold, but each takes a different approach to the journey of how that will happen. I also want to mention that my theory of irrelevance only happens during a crisis of US dollars at the start of a hyperinflationary event. My theory only works during a crisis when folks are freaking out about rampant inflation and the Fed steps in as a savior with the solution. It's too bad this solution is disastrous for all underneath it. When the Fed institutes Fed pay, which they are currently working on, and a slow rollout occurs, which allows folks to use physical cash in conjunction with digital dollars, the collection of dollars will be slow and deliberate. I really implore you to look into what myself and others have tried to warn you about with CBDCs and why it's so important to own physical gold and physical silver in your possession. Your time is your most precious asset and I appreciate you spending it here with me. Thank you all for watching. This is Campbell's Coins and that is my two cents.